Well, we are all doing what we can to make sure it's business as usual on our programme. But you will have noticed that Andrew sat over there. My dear co-presenter, Fred Dynage, is not sat beside me because, like we all should be, he is adhering to the social distancing guidelines that we're all being asked to follow. And I'm delighted to say Fred has worked out his Skype connection. Fair play. So earlier we caught up with him to find out how he's doing. Fred, it's Andrew and Sangeeta in the studio. And can I say it's so nice to see your face. It's wonderful to be talking to you. I never thought it would end like this, but at least we can still stay in touch and see each other. And I'm very happy about that. So are we. Fred, we tweeted last week when you announced on Wednesday that you were social distancing and we've had so many lovely messages. I've been so lucky. I've had, honestly, dozens of emails. I've had letters. I've had cards. This one from Diggy on Hailing Island. Dear Fred, good luck in semi-retirement, which I suppose it is at the moment. I think we've all been able to tell for a while that the wheels are still spinning, but the hamster is slowing down. I hope not, Diggy. She says, I'll miss you on the TV. You won't, Diggy, because I'm here. And I've had lots of cards like that. And lovely uh, Shula and Richard Thomas from the Thames Valley just saying, enjoy the simple pleasures in life while you can. Absolutely. So wonderful response. But I just want to say to our to our viewers, especially the older ones, if you are struggling, if you have got a problem, do let me know by email or text or phone and I'll try and help. Or if I can't help, perhaps I know a man who can. Oh, Fred, that's such a lovely message. Can I just say, you look very smart sat at home. I definitely don't look like that when I'm at home. Um, but Fred, you make a serious point. We all need to encourage people to keep their distance at the moment. How have you been doing that? Has it been difficult? Um, we've been quite uh, disciplined about this uh, all the way through. We've really kept our distance. Even yesterday, mothering Sunday, our two daughters came round at separate times, briefly, and we all sat outside well apart from each other in the fresh air. So we, we, we just didn't get too close to anyone at all. But I know my friend lives in South Sea and he tells me that yesterday South Sea Common was absolutely chock-a-block with people having barbecues and drinks and getting really close to each other. And they mustn't. We've all got to listen to the government's advice and honestly stay away from each other. Otherwise, things are going to get even tougher for us all than they are now. And Fred, you said you might start work on your book. Yes, it's going to be hopefully a la Peter Crouch and how to be a footballer, how to be a television presenter, if I can ever remember. And believe me, you two, Andrew and Sangeeta, are going to be in that book. And Sangeeta, I've got to ask you, how are you and your family getting along? Um, Fred, I'm fine. I was off last week, actually, and lots of people thought that there was something wrong with me. There wasn't. I was meant to be on holiday in Switzerland, but obviously it got cancelled. Um, it's tough because my mum and dad, they're approaching kind of 70. My dad is over 70. Um, so they have to stay at home and stay safe like everyone. And then my baby brother, and Fred, you know that, little Manish, if he's watching. Hello, Manish. Um, he's autistic. He's got no speech. Um, and he really, really doesn't understand what's happening at the moment. Um, he's a creature of habit. Um, um, and he just doesn't know why he's not going to his day centres. They've all closed. So um, it's really, really tough, to be honest. But um, you know me, I'm confident. Um, I think, you know, one day at a time and we will get through this, I hope. We certainly will. And in the meantime, well, I hope we'll speak lots and lots more times. In the meantime, love to you both, love to all my colleagues there and a special love to all our wonderful, wonderful viewers. Stay in touch. How Fred. <laughs> How Fred. Thanks, Fred. I knew oh, that was coming. Fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Fred bringing us sunshine with his smile there. Will Philippa Drew be able to conjure up some great weather for tomorrow? Let's find out.